Cup final, Toronto. Thoughts, early thoughts. I know you guys probably been breaking down the film. What are your thoughts? Oh, it, it was a, it was nerve wracking to watch that game. Um, obviously, we would have liked to host the final. I don't think it was so much nerve wracking because I think one of the opponents is weaker than the other or a better matchup for us. It was just uh, being helpless uh, watching your uh, your future, you know, or the, the decision on where you're going to play. I think that was more it. So once it was pretty clear that Toronto had it in the bag, I think at that point I, it kind of calmed down and you were you were happy it was over and you knew what was going to happen. So, uh, But they're a good side, you know. Um, they have, uh, I think, uh, similar to us, they have some guys who were important to them when we were starting to click at the right moment, Josie seems to be uh, uh, on fire right now. Um, I think it's a bit of a better matchup for us uh, compared to Montreal because there's some big guys who can wrestle with him. Hopefully that will work in our advantage. Uh, Gio is always uh, always dangerous. Um, but uh, I think I think the one thing that was the, was, uh, the advantage that was going to be decided in yesterday's game was uh, the only advantage, which is home advantage, right? And uh, so they have that now. Um, they're going to have to uh, take take care of that and make that count. Um, so that puts a little bit of pressure on them, I think. Um, we'll take that underdog role in a little, in a way, if you will, and then go to them and uh, play our game and make it as difficult as possible. But uh, I think we're confident. We're confident that we can go up there and, and get a result. How do you feel you've changed as a person and a player from when you were in Toronto? Uh, um, I don't know. It's, it's it's it was a difficult time for me up there because um, you know I was I was blessed coming out of college and getting some playing time right away. I had a coaching staff that believed in me and put me in there, and that's uh, so valuable for a goalkeeper to get experience. But uh, at the same time, uh, uh, it was it was a difficult time up there. You know, you you play we play soccer to win, and uh, we didn't have too many triumphs while I was there. You know, I mean, winning a Canadian Cup was uh, was one nice thing. Uh, but other than that, there wasn't much there. There was a lot of turnover, seven coaches in five years, about 200 teammates for me. It made it for a difficult uh, time. So uh, um, I think I grew there uh, as much as I could, but it was uh, probably for, for the best for me to move somewhere else and get a fresh start. Um, and to, for me to, to go to a place like Seattle that is um, pretty consistent, I would say, and not just in terms of the turnover or the lack thereof, but also in terms of Consistently one of the better teams, I think, has uh, been successful, if you ask me. I mean, if you look at the trophy case, uh, lots of Open Cups, uh, you know, um, getting into the getting into the Champions League, uh, obviously the Supporter Shield. Um, there's been uh, numerous successful stories uh, in this team, and I think that's helped me to calm down a little bit, mature. Um, obviously, the coaching staff here has helped me to grow tremendously. Um, it's been... Uh, it's been a good, a good few years for me because that first year here was difficult, you know, after coming back from almost two years. Um, I think your confidence is a little bit in the gutter. So uh, you need people around you that believe in you and keep on uh, um, assuring you that you're the man, you're, you're the guy we need and you're, we trust in you. So that's what I had here and it's allowed me to grow and I'm happy where I'm at. Steph, what, what's the best way that Tom plugs into you and gets the most out of you? And, and, and what separates him from some of the other goalkeeper coaches you've had? Um, I think as a unit, we, we work our butts off. We come to work and we try to get better every day. Uh, it starts with our keeper coach trying to push us. Uh, um, pretty much everything we do is, is, is uh, we try to look the extra step, you know, try to make it game related. Yeah, I think there's, there's times where you go through drills and it's a drill and you know the ball is going to come this way and so therefore you're going to dive there. But, but we try to take it a step further and, and visualize, okay, the ball is coming this way because it could be... Um, their midfielder playing a ball out wide and now you have to step out um, and, and get in good positions. And so it's all game related and I think that really helps um, uh, transfer it over into games. You know, uh, you, can, you can be an exceptional player in training, but uh, if you're really good in drills uh, where you know where the ball is going to go, um, it doesn't really help you in a game where you have no idea where the ball is going to go. So um, I think that's one thing and their communication is always very open with Tommy. Um, we do a lot of video, I mean we tape pretty much every game. Uh, with the GoPro, go over it on a daily basis, uh, go over our uh, games, touches. There's always something we can improve on. We, we have that open dialogue. Thank you.